Hey, welcome back to Whitetail Garage. This week's episode, we're going to swap out the bed cover on that uh, 2013 F-150. I've got a rolling lock bed cover on that. I want to swap it out for a Retrax. I've got a Retrax in the box and a rolling lock on the truck. I'm going to swap them out, take you along, and we'll talk about why I'm doing the swap. Okay, biggest issue with the rolling lock, this thing. Terrible. Just terrible. I hate this design. Also, uh, it does not love to retract. So you should uh, be able to unlock this thing and it try and retract pretty much automatically. Doesn't like that. If you push from one side or the other, it gets twisted. Causes a big problem that way. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, because of this um, vinyl cover, it drags in here and so you have to kind of lube it up more. Not a huge fan of that. And then now this is pretty old, but if I try and close it, it's lost its alignment. Um, and I've got a gap here where I'm getting, getting water in. So not a huge fan of that. Now this could easily be fixed. It just needs to be realigned. But for all these reasons with the rolling lock of, or the retracts available to me, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The other thing that is a feature for the rolling lock that I'm just not a fan of, the rolling lock locks your tailgate as well. So these clip into your tailgate. And so when the top is locked, then so is your tailgate. The retracts doesn't have that. I actually kind of prefer to not have to undo the cover here to lower the tailgate and that's because on the Ford and while well, most new vehicles you've got that key there so that's added security again that's a good feature for most people I don't really like it so I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this one off and then we'll start putting the other one on one of the things I've got to fix is I came in and I wired my own under bed lights, LED lights under here. And I've just got them stuck to the can down here. So I need to take those off. They'll have to go on the next one. I've got them wired to a switch here. So shut the tailgate. They automatically come on. So I did all that install. All right, so just to be clear, I was the one that installed this. So I'm not real sure how it was installed, so what order of operations I need to go in to uninstall it. But to gain access inside the can, you take out this screw on either side, and that lid slides off. And you can see I need that before I can get to the side rails. And this slides back and off. As you can see that little slide. I'm gonna go get the other side. Okay, so you can see I've got two screws here, and then underneath the bed rail, you can see down there, I've got those clamps that hold it on all the way down, and that should get the rails out. And I think the can can come right out after that. We'll have to look down inside here to see, to see what we see in there. Upon further inspection, I don't think it's these screws that undo anything. I think it's these underneath here. I believe that screw's holding that rail to the clamp. That screw's holding that rail to the box. So we're gonna start with those and see what happens. All right, took all those screws out. This one back here in the corner actually has a little strip, piece of strip metal as a, acting as a nut to pin it. So. That still didn't get me loose yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and undo this bolt uh, for the bracket, see what happens. So as you can see, that's how I secured those wires for the lights. That did loosen us up though. I'm gonna get a pair of uh, wire cutters to get that off. Here's that clamp reassembled. So this screws to the uh, rail on the rolling lock right here in this hole. And then this goes over the top of the bed rail 
and then this one is sandwiched up into the underside of the bed rail under that lip so that way it will uh, sandwich down on it like that and hold it down okay well now that I know what I'm doing you can see the way these clamps are set up I'm gonna take out this bolt to do that I've got to take out this bolt this screw right here back here to undo to disconnect it from the canister itself All right, looking at this thing, turns out it's just the rails that hold the can on. So I'm going to go ahead and put this top back on so it's nice and secure. And then this is ready to be lifted out. All right, just comparing these two side by side, you can see the profiles are different. This one is shorter. And if you remember, this is above the bed. So there's less rolled up in there. This one is much bigger and it's all below the bed. So you're actually going to lose more bed space with the retracts is what it looks like. The retracts is all metal ball bearings. It's definitely constructed different, that's for sure. Alright, got a little ahead without uh, filming here, sorry about that, but I've got the rails installed. The retracts, you install the rails first and then you slide it up here. Which makes it way more cumbersome than the rolling lock to install but all you do is in two screws here to install the rails on the sides and then this allen headed countersunk screw on either side to hold this back plate on now the can is not sealed all by itself so this is the back of the can that's going to go up against the bed and so that's not sealed that's open access there which might not matter but I'm curious about rain intrusion because this is really the only seal I have to prevent rain intrusion. I did not have a real issue with rain on this one until it became misaligned. And that was just in this one corner. When it was misaligned, it would rain into there. Otherwise, I didn't have any leakage or rain issues into the um, into the vehicle. So I'm kind of curious if I'll have those issues with this one. All right. Had to get some help to get it up to this point because it's a little cumbersome and I didn't want to tweak these rails because this is kind of just plastic and aluminum holding this together. So now that it's up here, I can slide it to the back and then we'll start the install on those clamps. All right, so that finishes it up. And here's the thing that's most important to me is I can close this really, really easily. I don't have to go back and find the strap. And you're loading stuff in there and then the strap gets stuck to the side or it gets thrown over the edge and I don't have to do any of that anymore. Uh, I can I can use that. So again, uh, kind of comparing them both, it, it all just depends. You do lose a little bit, a couple inches of bed space because that can is a little bit wider than the uh, than the rolling lock. But uh, it uh, it's it's just kind of whatever your preference is. Me personally, pulling on that strap is an issue for me. Losing the strap in that, uh, you know, in your cargo whenever you're trying to load, that's an issue for me. I don't like that at all. I think the strap is a bad idea. So uh, this style uh, handle for me to be able to easily on ball bearings, go like that, you know, is just that's much nicer. I'm not sure if I like that. I gotta get used to pushing that down. But yeah, anyways, that was the thing I was working on this weekend. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.